I got the area. I was thinking about it. I was like, and they're, the whole the sides are eight from five apart. It's like 108 is five away from 103, and 97 is five away from 92. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I feel like that has something to do with it. I don't know. Because then I was thinking maybe it's like five squared, like what these two would be, like if you subtracted them, but it's not five squared. I tried. I was like, maybe, you know, that would be cool. No, I, 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 I bet there is something with it. Because it'd be like five on that one, and five on that one. It might be the same. But I don't know. I don't know. Something side just going on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pause there, but let's share up to the entire group now. So we gain even more members, right? Than maybe we got in our individual groups. Uh, starting with Eli, will you share with us your first member? Will you come up and put it on the demo for us? Um, the first thing I did. First thing I did was just multiply out uh, each of them. Well, the first thing I did was nice the way I did it. But when I wrote it down, um, I just multiplied it out, and you can see the difference in the numbers by mentioning them too. Okay. Well, you said you did it mentally too. Mm -hmm. uh, what thought process did you use there? Um, I don't know what it's called, but we talked about it where you would take the difference, so like 97 or 92 and 108, and it's. Uh, Eight away, like the difference, and then you square that and subtract it from it. So I knew it would be like ten thousand minus sixty-four, and then minus. Uh, okay. All right. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. 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 How did you do that method? The the, the algorithm multiplication. All right. Awesome. Uh, Landry, will you come up and show us your method to kind of tie into what Eli was saying, what they did mentally? I think you wrote it all out, so uh, that'd be good for us to, to see that. So let's see if we can connect what Eli said with what Landry wrote here. <laughs> so why did you subtract, or why did you act? First of all, why did you square? Um, because that's Okay, yeah, so there's two, two square set up, right? Uh, which which uh, ends up being uh, the middle number square minus the difference square, right? Yeah, does anybody add anything to that? Shannon, how about you? Jaden, yeah? What, what, how did, did you do it this way? Uh, yeah. Okay, so how, how, how can we think through the 100 and the, and the 8? How she did it, or just like in mm -hmm. general? Yeah, where does this hundred come from? Well, the hundred came from the squares, because like it was like a hundred and eight or something like that, mm -hmm. and so she just took off the eight basically, because it was a ninety-two, and eight plus ninety-two is a hundred. Okay. Yeah. So it's a hundred minus eight. You said it was a ninety-two, right? Yeah. And what was the other one? And then ninety-two plus. I mean, wait, 100, eight. yeah, plus 8 is 108. Okay, yeah. which if we distribute that, we get 100 squared yeah. minus 8 squared. 8 squared, right? yeah. Which leads us to what Landry had up there, right? And when she subtracted, uh, we get those two values there, which is the same thing Eli got, right? All right, so difference two squares, we can see here, right? We've seen it in mental math before, and now it's coming up in a different, different situation. I, I, I took a picture of it. Yeah, but thank you. <laughs> but now we can see it, right? And then coming out here in terms of these two rectangles, we find the area of them, right? Uh, and so we can see the application uh, in this particular scenario. Now, Tucker, will you just kind of verbally say what you were finding out there? From this method, you just kind of took yeah. this approach, but you said that well, with the number that added the smallest absolute value from 100, or the average of the two numbers in each set, is the smaller the number, the bigger it is, because you're subtracting less from the initial value. Okay, so the closer the values in the rectangle are to the, 
the, the middle number, which is in this case 100, right? The greater that area is going to be, right? Because you're subtracting less in the difference of two square situation. So that means, given a, a, a given a, a perimeter, how do we maximize the area? What do we make it? Bigger. Square. We square. make it a square, right? Because that minimizes the distance away from that, that middle number, right? You think about 101 times 99. You'd only be subtracting one, wouldn't you? And then, of course, if you do 100 times 100, which is a square, you'd be subtracting nothing. So it, it, would, it would maximize the area given a particular uh, perimeter. We can use difference of two squares to think that through. All right, now I want to show you uh, a student's work from earlier today who thought about it visually. And here's what she did. She took uh, rectangle A up there, and she wanted to make the side length 97 like rectangle B. So what she did was she cut off the bottom of it, which was an 11 by 5, 11 by 5 rectangle. She cut it off the bottom, and she put it over here on the right. So it's still 97. Um, and then she saw that there was an extra 5 by 11 uh, piece down here. So the difference was 55. It was actually 11 by 92, not 11 by 5. I misspoke earlier. But a 5 by 11 uh, rectangle here that's missing from rectangle B. Therefore, there's a 55 uh, difference between the two she wrote here, which is the difference between the two numbers that you calculated, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. So she took a visual approach to this and found the, the space that's missing in A, uh, but not in B. Isn't that cool? So a visual approach that I wanted to share with you, tying back in to some other methods that we did earlier. All right. Any other methods out there that I did not uh, call on? That I did not see as I was walking around? Awesome. We'll continue to uh, look more uh, at some other ones of these uh, later uh, next week. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and transition.